The movie starts with a war scene. This is 1965, when a war was going on between America and Vietnam. Due to the violence from both sides, there was destruction everywhere. To win this war, American soldiers were involved in secret planning. According to this plan, they had to destroy Vietnam's area with the help of a fighter jet from where they supplied weapons. Once the weapons were destroyed, they would become weak, and the chances of America winning would increase. In the meeting, all the soldiers are told to keep this mission a secret. At night, all the soldiers are shown a survival movie, so that even if they get stuck in the dense forests of Vietnam, they will be able to save their lives with the ways shown in this survival movie. All the soldiers do not pay attention to this movie because they were sure that nothing like this would happen. It is not good to take everything so lightly. The next morning, they leave for the mission. As they reach the border of Vietnam, they start bombing, but they were not going to sit quietly. In response, they also bomb their fighter jet. Three out of four American fighter jets managed to escape from here, but unfortunately, in this bombing, the fighter jet of the soldier named Dengler is destroyed. Fortunately, he had succeeded in saving his life, but there was one more bad thing. He was at Vietnam's border. That's why the soldiers of Vietnam go after him badly. To hide from them, he starts looking for ways in the forest but finds no way to escape. He has to spend the night in the forest. As it was morning, the American rescue helicopter had come here looking for him. Seeing this, he quickly climbs a hill so that he can be seen by the helicopter. Through a mirror, he tries to give a signal to the helicopter. But this time too, his bad luck is that the helicopter left after looking for him for a long time. Sad Dengler gets off from there. He was very thirsty, so he goes to a pond and drinks water. When he was about to drink water, the soldiers of Vietnam come from behind and catch him. He is brought to the village by dragging him. After that, the people of Vietnam tie Dengler in the middle of the village on hot ground. Dengler tries to talk to them, but they were not able to understand Dengler's language. For two days, Dengler remained tied here in hunger. After it, the soldiers decide to take him to the governor. When they were going to the governor, they see an American helicopter in the sky. The soldiers thought that Dengler had given a signal and called this helicopter to him. That's why they quickly hide in the forest with Dengler. As punishment, they shoot Dengler a lot, none of which hit Dengler. Anyway, after the helicopter leaves, they start their journey, and finally, Dengler is introduced to the governor. The governor knew English. While talking to Dengler, he makes a plea to Dengler that we will bring you back to your country alive, but on one condition, you will have to sign a contract with us. According to the contract, you will not work for America, but you will work for Vietnam. You will become our spy, and you will give us all the secret information about America. Hearing this, Dengler immediately refuses because he was not a traitor. Upon his refusal, the soldiers of Vietnam start torturing him badly. He is dragged on the ground badly, drowned in water, and they even lock him up in jail. Even then, he wasn't ready to become a traitor. Many days pass like this in jail, and he keeps thinking about getting out of here. That's why he talks to his companion prisoner named Jem, and he says to Jem, I have noticed everything here. These soldiers who guard us keep an eye on us during the day, but we can easily escape from here at night. If we somehow manage to get out of here and reach the forest, believe me, the rescue helicopters that are still looking for us, we can call them by gesturing and we will be saved like this. In response, Jem says, yes, the idea is not bad, but think that if we get caught, then there will be no need to come to this jail. Then they will kill us. On top of that, they tie handcuffs in our hands at night. In response, Dengler says, leave all this to me. Dengler's mission was to untie his handcuffs somehow, but unfortunately, he did not have anything to help him do so. He pays attention to everything around him. He has made a plan to escape in his mind. He also made all the paths in his mind, and to untie the handcuffs, he steals a nail from the soldier. At night, he tries to untie his handcuffs with the help of this nail, and fortunately, the handcuffs untie, and seeing this, all the prisoners become happy, because if they untie the handcuffs, then the plan further would be easy too. They get a hope to escape from here. Now they decide to escape tomorrow night. Maybe it wasn't in their luck to escape because the Americans attack the next morning. The Vietnamese soldiers take out their aggression on these poor prisoners. They beat them up badly, a prisoner fed up from this torture, and comes out to give a signal to American jets to tell them that they are stuck here. But the jets don't see them. But Vietnamese soldiers shoot him as a punishment, and the bullet just grazed his ear. There was more strictness imposed on them. They were even guarded at night. 
Seeing all this situation, Jem asks Dengler to stop their plan here. He says, I think we should wait for Americans. They will definitely come here to rescue us. But Dengler believes that if any help were going to arrive, it would have reached us by now. Dengler insists on his plan to escape. Jem becomes furious and says, you are putting us too in danger along with you. If you will talk to escape, I will tell this to the soldiers. Dengler has to become silent here, even he doesn't want to. It was Dengler's birthday the next day, so all the prisoners celebrated his birthday. Today was the first day when they were smiling in this imprisonment. Dengler gives everyone a gift here, the key to their handcuffs that he made with the nails somehow. He once again tries to convince the prisoners while giving the key that they can successfully escape from here. He says, if you think that we can't survive in the forest, then I have another plan. We make the soldiers our slaves, and then we'll get divided into two groups. One will keep an eye on the soldiers, and the other will give signals to the jets. Likewise, we will escape from here soon. This time, the prisoners were ready to perform Dangler's plan. Now if they have to make the soldiers their slaves, they should have weapons, so they decide to steal soldiers' weapons. They keep an eye on soldiers' activity for many days and find out that when soldiers gather to eat food, they place their weapons at a distance. The prisoners get a chance and steal soldiers' weapons, and after it, they have to escape within one to two days. A prisoner comes and tells them about Vietnamese soldiers that they were planning to kill all the prisoners because they have to go home on vacations, but they were not able to go home because of those prisoners. The soldiers plan to kill the prisoners and tell the governor that they were trying to escape. That's why we killed them. The prisoners were in danger, and if they wanted to escape, they needed to start working on their plan soon. They take out their hidden weapons and start their plan. Dengler tells them that we have to divide into two groups. One from the right side and the other from the left side will surround the soldiers. Likewise, it will become easy to make them escape and to escape from here. As Dengler and his companion come to the right side, they see that their group wasn't there. They deceived Dengler and his companion. They ran into the forest. Dengler now has no other way. He kills all the soldiers and escapes with his companion. Reaching the forest, Dengler sees his companions. He was angry with them and says, you ruined the plan. Now do what you think is right. I am leaving. Then he reaches the middle of the forest with his companion, Martin. They now want to escape from here while crossing the forest but it started raining heavily in the forest. They have to face so many hurdles. As the rain stops, Dengler decides to move ahead through the stream because it was an easy path. Now they gather some woods and made a boat. Then they get in the water with that boat. Dengler was driving the boat because Martin wasn't well. As the stream was moving ahead, they didn't know that it was turning into a spring. Means the stream water was falling through a huge cliff and they couldn't travel by boat. They leave the boat and jump into the water. Fortunately, they reach the downside, but their boat was broken due to falling from a height. They reach a village while walking and find it empty. Dengler finds it a perfect chance and he sets this village on fire and tries to give signals to the rescue helicopters. Fortunately, the rescue helicopter reaches them, but seeing them, they thought they were Vietnamese, so they start shooting them, so they were compelled to hide. Dengler and Martin reach the next village in search of food, and the villagers recognize them as Americans. Likewise, they attack them without thinking. Martin Dengler's companion dies because of the villagers' attack. Seeing him dying, Dengler becomes furious and attack the poor villagers with his weapon in aggression. The villagers escape from there being feared, and as they ran from there, Dengler runs to the forest as he wants to reach America through the forests. But it seems difficult now because he is hungry for many days and he didn't sleep, so he is now having weird hallucinations. He feels his companion Martin is around him. Dengler sees a snake in the stream and he somehow eats it, eating this snake. Dengler gets some energy. After so many hurdles, now it was Dengler's good time because the rescue helicopters reach the forest while finding him. Dengler puts all his strength into signaling the helicopter. Finally, the helicopter sees him. They throw the rope down to rescue Dengler, but before he climbs up the helicopter, the Vietnamese soldiers also see this helicopter. They start shooting it, as a result of it, it could have been damaged, but before this, the rescue team of American soldiers successfully brought Dengler inside. Dengler has reached America finally, and his treatment starts. Along with this, the CIA also starts investigating whether Dengler has given any secret American information to Vietnam. Dengler tries to make them understand that he hasn't done anything like that, but the CIA is not going to trust him so easily. 
during their investigation, Dangler's squad also come here and they all were happy to see him alive. When the CIA leaves, they tell Dangler to go because they will end him while questioning him. They may kill you for being a traitor. You have to escape from here while supporting us. Dangler agrees, and his squad helps him escape even in the presence of the CIA. Dangler was welcomed warmly on their base because they knew how tough life Dangler had spent there. They all were showing him respect, and Dangler also felt that he was rewarded for his patience. He was happy and was ready to go on a new mission with his squad. The story concludes while showing this.